Hi everyone, this is Simon from MotionVFX.com. MLA plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5 allows you to load your custom LUT files inside Final Cut Pro 10 or Motion. It also allows you to create and manage your LUT libraries. I'll show you how it works in Final Cut Pro 10, but the same rule applies to Motion 5. You can access MLAT plugin from the filters up here, find it on a list up here, drag it and drop it on your footage. Now you can see on the right side we have a new panel showing the options you have while working with LUT files. To load your custom LUT files, simply click Load Custom LUT, then choose your file and click Load. You can see that our footage changed the color. You can adjust that by simply playing with some parameters we have published like highlights, midtones, shadows and some contrast to get a better results. So you can see before and after. So this is loading of custom LUT files, but the real power of MLUT starts with the MLUT library. When you'll click the button up here, you'll see that your library shows up. That's where all your LUT files are stored. My library includes many different LUT files that's from our commercial packs like Instapack, Cinematic Pack and Blockbuster Packs. Here you can see all packs I have. These are also your categories. You can create a new category by simply clicking Add New, that plus button up here, and typing your name, for example, Custom. Now I have different category here, which is actually empty. Now when I want to import my LUT file to the library, all I have to do is click Import, select my file, for example this one, and click Import. Now it asks me to which category I want to assign my LUT file. Either I choose Custom or I can create a new category, just what I did here. I choose Custom and I click OK. My Custom LUT file shows up in my library. I can simply switch over to a different library by selecting it, like here. So let's import a few more. Let's click Import, select the files and click Import. I can here define a different category, for example, Custom 2 and click OK. And you can see my category changes here. So before I've been loading my custom LUT file from the file, you can see it here. It says source flex.cube. It also shows the path when I mouse over it. Now after importing my files, I can simply access them by clicking them. And you can see immediately that my color of the footage changes when I click the file. When I select the one I like, I click OK. And again, I can adjust some levels, like highlights, like uh, mid tones and some shadows to create a more sophisticated look. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you are the favorites. If you like any of the LUTs you have imported into MLUT, you can click that star to access them faster. I'm going to select a few of them from the first one and, for example, from the cinematic one, like this one and maybe this one. And when I'll go to favorites, you can see that all my favorites are showing up here. So instead of searching them through the library, I have the favorites section here and I can simply access them very fast just by clicking them. All right, everyone, this is Simon from MotionVFX.com. Thank you very much for watching this great MLAT tutorial. And don't forget to visit our website at MotionVFX.com for the best plugins for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5, as well as the best templates for motion in the universe. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.